whole bunch of smarty pants are all holed up in the Aurora Public Library this weekend hosting a chess tournament. The Denver Chess Club has been around since 1859, and the group studies the game of chess not only as a game, but as a science and art. And the games start at 10 o'clock at the Aurora Central Library. Anyone is invited to watch. NA tournaments, the peak of class and chess culture. We all know and love them. Now I thought this was gonna be just a regular local K Kona tournament, but at the last minute, the night before the tournament, I was notified that I was allowed to stream it at 10 p.m. So naturally I reached out to a few small creators slash chess players and asked them to uh, commentate. Uh, didn't hear back from them till the next day though. I only heard back from some of them. I don't know why, but thankfully, our savior stepped in, Big P Pavlikic, best Twitch mod, go Pavlikic, and he was able to stream all of my games for me and do commentary, and I am eternally grateful for that, so thank you, Pavlikic. Driving to the tournament, I was feeling pretty good, but extremely nervous because I knew my pairing ahead of time, and I knew I was playing the top seed, international master, Seaman Cannon. He really popped off on this tournament. Um, that's all I'll say on that subject. This NA tournament was five rounds, two days. The first day was three games in one day, and each game was anywhere from two to five hours. So it was quite a long day, but nothing new here. The DGT board was set up, the stream worked pretty much fine, and thankfully my DGT board was the only one that actually stopped working during the game. Uh, thankfully. The full game, full commentary is up on my Twitch channel if you want to watch that, along with every other round. My main objective here was just to survive, as they say, but alas, I could not make it work. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I'm gonna hand it off to post-game Sarah to discuss the important things, what the people want to know. He was like, he hated me. And then I was an idiot, so the board was set up wrong. Um, and so, like, I got confused a few times when I was hating. And then after the game, I was like, should we, should we set it up correctly? Because I thought, I don't know why, because I'm, I'm an idiot. Like, it doesn't affect the color of the squares. But I was like, Are, the, the kings will be wrong, and it'll record it as white one. He's like, no. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. And then I wanted to cry, because I was like... <clears throat> he just anyway... <laughs> Game two. Now I have the black pieces. I'm gonna be honest, I fucked the opening up real bad in this game, and I was- I remember I had a very specific feeling that I wanted to quit chess during this game, and I had to- I had to go recollect myself. I had to go outside and say, you know, you know, listen, like, position sucks, but like, it's fine. This losing streak can't last forever. A little context, I, I was on like a six game losing streak and I lost a hundred points recently. So I was feeling a bit discouraged, but somehow I, I managed to win this game. I came back from just, just, just a not good position. Analysis coming soon on all these games. And there's no, there's no post game interview for this one, but we did, I did review my game with my opponent for a while, so that I have some footage of that. And there was no time in between the second round and the third round for dinner, really. So I just decided to not <laughs> and eat a snack there and then be ready for my next game. Which is the only game I did not record because my phone had died and it was just it was just not working. I had to give Pavlikic a break and it's so unfortunate because it was my favorite game I played all weekend, even though I lost. I I was channeling Tal there and listen, it's it's a doozy, so stay tuned for it. The analysis on that one. It was 
it was hot. Anyway, then, yeah, then I went to, uh, back to the hotel and I molded for a while. Oh, the places you'll go. There is no Cat Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I may have lost that game, but I just beat Fire Blight Ganon for the fourth time. Go me! The next day, I was feeling energized and optimistic based on my last game and the way I was playing. Even though I lost, I was still happy and excited to play chess. I played an opponent that I play a lot and in the stone wall again. I had two stone walls on Sunday. This is number one. A few memorable moments from our commentators here. This is unnecessary and bad. She played queen b3. Fuck yeah. She saw the idea. Actual good chess player. Fuck yeah, dude. Giga Chad. Yeah, that's what I said that it's so great that she has so much time. And now we see the opponent's clock, yes, exactly. GG's resignation. Game suit action against the stone wall, yet again. Fuck yeah. GG's. Giga Chadan. Pretty sick game. Yeah, very, very just powerful game, I think. Uh, just never really having any weaknesses. As black. Defending the only threat with queen. Uh, finding queen b3, queen bc2. Is she 2000 now? Uh, in live rating, yes. I think she has to be. That was a great game, dude. Good job. Thank you. It was very scary. I, I uh, messed up my move order there. Um, I think rook c8 first before c takes d. But then I was like, oh, this is more forcing. And then I realized that after c3, I'm like, kind of like, what? Oh, this is... No, but queen d3 was a great fun. Yes. Yeah, we can just go back to d3, and then I wasn't sure what to do there. Like, it's just repeating. Well, no, no, but you, you keep your queen on d3. I mean, it's complicated. It is complicated, but yeah, and then sometimes you're repeating you know. c3, like, yeah. as a tactic. But there were, there were so many tactical shots that I was seeing that I, I didn't know if he was seeing. Exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, it was a Duane attack. It was kind of scary, though. I know. Like, it was flooding. It was very scary. It's a problem. I was scared. Yeah, I was. Instead of getting Chipotle for a second time this weekend like we usually do, we decided to try and look for this mysterious dumpling type restaurant. And the GPS took us to a mall, but there didn't seem to be an entrance. And we had no time to get our food. But we were, we were set on these fucking dumplings. And listen, it was a bad idea. Because just picture us running around a, a crowded mall for 10-15 minutes getting hungry and upset because this place just doesn't seem to exist. And after searching and searching, when we thought all hope was lost, there it was. We found it. The dumplings. And now all there's left to do is take it back and eat it on the floor of the Skeetles room. K Kona. pressure is on for this game. I'm currently playing for $400 worth of prizes if I win this game. If I draw, I only get 150 If I lose, I get nothing. So the pressure is on me. Nearing the end, my phone died, and Daniel came in clutch, came in camel clutch, and started feeding us moves through his phone while watching the game. So the commentators were actually able to keep up. What does she do? Did she play Queen A4? She did. Yes. So she could. Is, will that just trans? Will just go into this? Probably. I think mm -hmm. it will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So maybe. So usually though, Sarah sees some trick though. If she if she's allowing something like this. Yeah, she's not really a. Trade, okay. Yeah. Nice. Trade trade machine. Yeah. Too weak. Too slow. I think. Too weak. Too slow. Pointed out. I'm sure what what she saw actually. So if rook takes d1, queen takes d1, knight takes a2, we yeah. play e takes f, and black can't recapture because of queen e2, and we're threatening e8, queen e8 mate, and the knight on a2. Ah, good job, good job. Wow. I tried to win as hard as I possibly could, and I just could not do it. But
But a draw still secured a prize. Hello? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I wanted to win! Alright, bye. Bye bye. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we lost her. <laughs> hey everybody. I wanted to say thank you to all of the mods. Pavlikic for hosting the stream, Josh, Dennis, Chewy, and if any anyone else hopped on to commentate and help out, thank you. I, I really, really appreciate it. I can't wait to watch the VODs. And thank you if you watched it live. I, I really found this tournament to be very motivating for me, and I'd really like to do this again in the future, especially streaming it. That was a very cool new experience for me. I'm going to analyze my games in depth and annotate them before I actually show them, but when I do, I will be showing them on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash zephcat with two T's. Or you can just subscribe to me on YouTube here and you'll see it when I upload it, which I greatly appreciate because, I don't know, it, for some reason it just it means a lot to me that people are interested in, in my chess games more than uh, anything. So. But I played some interesting ones, so I, I highly recommend it because I'm going to go into a lot of depth. And again, if you want to just watch the games in their entirety, you can go to my Twitch channel and watch it there. I hope you enjoyed this stock footage of dogs while I did my little outro here. Okay, bye!